Okay, we're back for the Gates of Chrysa again. And we the, there's been loads of scale attacking the Ascalon settlement, so and they seem to be being driven there by some like undead guy that's out here in the scoundrel no wait, the Delesio seaboard? No, that's not right. Yes, there we go. Yes, out here in the scoundrel's ride. There's something driving the scale there. Since they breathe breed so fast, the people are um uh, having trouble surviving, so we're going to go take out whatever it is that's attacking them. Since I'm from Ascalon, I figure this is the least I can do. Oh, there's a monk out here. Hello? Oh, you have nothing to say to me. Lovely. Right, how far exactly are we going? Oh, we're going quite away. We're going near the basin. So, let's see how easily I can run here, shall we? Not easily, apparently. Wow, they snare me hard. Really, really, really bad. Okay, I figure I'll just have to kill them. It's always the easiest way to go about this stuff. Uh, catch in sec. Of course, it's easy, but it's also slow as hell. Or at least we're back out on the beach by these shipwrecks. These awesome looking shipwrecks. I wonder if we can go inside any of them. There's some loot in there or something. Looks like the deck is hollow. Uh, stop snaring me. Please. Ah, uh, no, we can't go in. Oh, well, I know there's some much bigger ships a little bit further down. Yeah, like those ones over there. Can't wait to get over there. It's gonna be fun times. How far have we got to go? It looks like it's just past there, actually. Hmm. Through these palm trees. This has to be one of my favourite places in the game. It's got to be. It's just so cool. Oh, a little barrel. Barrel of rum. Or at least I like to think it's rum. It's probably not. Okay, under we go. Hopefully not too many of them are going to come at us. Oh, here's some of the scales that they were talking about. Oh jeez, there's loads of them. As long as they all keep focusing on me, we should be okay and Charlie can just finish them off. Oh gee, okay, they're dead and check it out, Charlie's got like one health left. One health! Alright, we survived though. Suck on that. Let's grab our gold and go on through. Not far now, it looks like it's just up in those hills ahead. Hmm. I think the problem last time was I attract. Wow, look, are they over there? There's loads of scale there. No, those must just be the scale that are being driven out by the undead or something. That would be my best guess. Now it looks like there's two groups here. Oh, it gets very jungly over there, doesn't it? We can just get some of them. Oh my god, look, they all run at you. This is one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Actually, I guess that makes sense because here in the game it's meant to be six man parties, so right now it would be six players versus six Murgoyles. And that would be an even fight. As it stands, it's just me and Charlie. Oh, check it out, they gave me a crying key. Cool, so I can use this to open that chest there. That was like perfect timing. And one of them just gave us some more red dye. Even more red dye. They, they do enjoy giving that to us, don't they? Alright, well now that we've got this, what should I dye? The helmet, the gloves, or the boots? Oh, I'm going to go with the boots. And we've almost got a full set of red wyvern armour. Anyway, let's see what's in this chest, shall we? Hopefully something good. Would you like to open? Yes. Ah, it was just another purple magic item. Earth scroll. Anyway, where are we going? There's a settlement scout there called Scout Drew. Maybe he's the guy that we're meant to be talking to? About these undead? Actually, do you know what? I'm just no, I'm not going to do that. 
I was going to say I was going to run past into the portal and then come back so we could avoid these groups. But that would make everything respawn, so really not a very good idea. Okay. It's them dealt with. Drew, what's going on? Where are these undead driving this scale? Hello, I'm known as Scout Drew. What's on your mind? It's good to see Captain Greywind found someone able, able enough for the task. I'm quick on my feet and can scout well enough, but battle's not my forte, if you know what I mean. Listen though, last night I saw something that might aid you. There's some sort of zombie commander, Lord Tymot, who seems to be gathering the undead and sending them west. If you can take him down, I think our problems will be solved. Well, oh, so it's not just a, a, a normal undead problem, this is an actual general guy. Ah, yes, alright, so he's down where those scale were that I just saw. Okay, simple enough. Go back to the boats. Oh yeah, look at them all, there's loads. Bog scales. So, if I can just attract just a couple at a time, we should be good. These guards aren't nice, they hex you with this thing called Price of Failure, which means sometimes when you're attacking you miss, every time you do miss uh, you take a load of damage. It really sucks. Easy enough to kill at least. Okay, so what have we got down here? Couple more scales and this, these things, can you see them? They're called Executioners. Big lumbering undead bastards, and they've got axes, and they hurt like fuck. But here we go. I'm not too worried about fighting them. As long as they don't interrupt me. Oh shit, they do hurt a lot, don't they? Oh, and they can knock me down. This isn't good. I think they're gonna kill me. Run away! Run away! Ah, oh, oh no, they're gonna kill Charlie as well. Unless he can hang on in there. We've killed one. No, he's getting owned. Absolutely owned. Oh, shit. Okay, right. We're back at the jungle. Hopefully I can charge them before they get their health back. No, no, no. Go down. Go. Oh, my God. Lord Timeout's come all the way out. Look, that's the guy we're trying to kill. I wonder if I can just attract him on his own. Where's he going? Oh god. Yes, look, he's attacking me all on his own. So, hopefully... Oh look, he's summoned this thing called a Bone Fiend. These are like the Bone Minions we saw earlier. Except... Oh my god, he hurts me a lot. Except that uh, it's a ranged sort of minion that they summon out of corpses. Anyway, there we go. That's his minion dead. Ah, the executions are coming again. I need to lure him further away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Alright, that should be far enough. I've just got to kill them before they run over to me. Oh no, this isn't good. I'm not going to have enough time. Need to get back. I wonder how far he'll chase me. See, I don't want to walk into these mergoils over here either. Come on, fight me by the barrel. Fight me by the ba No, 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 don't run away. Don't run back to them. Don't run back to them. No, come here. Good. Alright, looks like they're going that way. Sorry, this is probably quite quite boring for you guys to watch but I think if I just wait here for a minute they'll walk off over there and I'll be safe so I'm gonna quickly pause while they move o move over come on so close just die yes alright he's out of there two decayed ore emblems and I destroyed you quest updated reversing the scales return to Captain Greywind for our reward very nice. And I'm not going to 
like I said earlier, the Ascalon settlement isn't actually an outpost. It's here, this is where it's settled, but as you can see there's no outpost icon or anything, so we have to walk there. And uh, I happen to know that if we walk this way, past the past Drew up here, uh, we can walk along the coast to the giant's base in here, and it's pretty safe, if I remember correctly, so we'll end up getting there a lot quicker. Alright Drew, we're all clear, clear here, you can go home. Right, this is only if memory serves me correctly. <laughs> I mean, I could be totally wrong and just get owned. We'll see. So, where are we? There's a sign to Lion's Arch, a sign to Scoundrel's Rise, and there's a sign to the Giant's Basin, so that's the way we want to go. Mm, there's an Et in there. More Crichton wildlife. They hit quite hard, but because they're only melee uh, range, or melee range, I don't know. Uh, because they're only that, they're easy to run away from. So Here's the beach, another beach. This is why I love Kryta so much. Just a tropical beach land. And water as far as the eye can see. It's one huge lake. Let's see, we'll just follow the coast, take a nice stroll in the shallows. What do you think about that? Oh, look, there's a fisherman's hut thing here. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Or does this belong to the settlement? Nobody's there. Pretty cool little thing, anyway. Can we go under it? No. Some. Mergo's here. 